Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this F-18 video, we're going to be taking a look at some updates to the data link of the F-18. Now, much like the recent video I did on the updates to the data link of the Viper, the big change here is going to be that rather than your flight members be limited to your airplane group as defined in the mission editor uh, for aircraft, instead, this is going to be defined as the source track number, or STN, of this aircraft. Now, a big difference with the Viper is you could have up to eight team members and four donors, whereas with the F-18, instead, it's going to be four team members and eight donors. And just to review again, with a team member, you're going to get a lot more information from this aircraft, in particular, what they're targeting air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. And also, this is strictly over the fighter channel. Uh, anything with like a C2 controller, such as an AWACS, would be over the mission channel, and that will automatically be assigned for you. So you won't have to assign a AWACS to either a team member or a donor. So first, let's take a look at uh, setting this up in the mission editor. Okay, so here we are in the mission editor, and we can see we have uh, four groups. Each group is a four ship. Uh, two of the groups are F-18s, and the other two groups are F-16s. Our group here in the middle is going to be Roman. Then to the uh, northeast is going to be Snake. And then the F-16 flights are going to be Viper and Venom. Let's take a look at our flight first. And just like the S-16 video, uh, the top portion is pretty much unchanged. Uh, we have our call sign here, so Roman 1-1. It's the bottom part where we had the biggest changes, and in particular, the uh, two rightmost tabs, which are aircraft additional properties and data links. Let's go to additional properties first. And at the bottom, we have a new section called data link, where we have voice call sign label and voice call sign number. And generally, it's up to you, but I like to have this match the call sign in the top portion. So in this case, Roman 1-1. So I take the first and last letter of that call sign, so RN and then 1-1. But most importantly, at the bottom is our source track number, or STN. And this is going to be an octal, uh, meaning I can use digits 0 through 7, but it will not accept digits 8 and 9. And most importantly, we have to make sure that these uh, ST numbers are unique to each aircraft within your network. In my case, I have 201 for aircraft one, then 202 for number two, 203, and 204. Come back out, we go to snake flight, additional properties, same thing. So snake, SE, 301, 302, and so on. Coming back. Let's go to the next tab, data links. We have two sub tabs at the top, network and settings. Settings really don't need to worry about, this is all pre-configured, but if you want to, you can adjust your transmit power between norm, medium, low, mixed, and off. We'll keep it at medium for now. Let's go to network. This is where most of the work is. So just like the F-16 video, we have uh, one section for defining the team members. Again, with the F-18, this can be up to four aircraft. And the bottom portion are the donors, and this could be up to eight aircraft. So let's go ahead and uh, add our team members in. Let's go to the rest of Roman, so we can add it by either group. In this case, Roman, Snake, Viper, or Venom. Go Roman, and then add. But if I wanted to, I could also add individual aircraft too. But this is the maximum number of team members we can have for this data link. And then for the donors, again, we could add it by either a group or a unit. Let's go ahead and add a Viper group and add. And of course, we have our uh, columns of the member ID number, the pilot name, the call sign, and the STN, all of which we have defined earlier. So we can see that we can define our team members and donors in the mission editor. Now we'll take a look at is how we can alter this in the cockpit. Now, to change member and donor assignments in flight, we're going to do so through the Situational Awareness page, or the SA page, which is on TAC. So we can see we're on TAC. Let's go to SA. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and assign this as our sensor of interest by going aft or down on the sensor control switch. You can see the diamond, and now we have TDC control. 
So the first thing we can do is we can use the TC, place it over one of our contacts, and in the bottom right corner, we can have information on. So we see it's an F-18, RN-14, so Roman flight. So we have 14, 13, 12, so that's, these are all of our members, also indicated by B, C, and D, and also note a little uh, dot about a nine o'clock position indicating it's also uh, donating information. Ahead of us, we see circles again with that donor dot, so that must be a Viper flight as we indicated in the mission editor. So place the cursor over it. We see S16s, VR, so Viper, 14, one, three, and so on. And this must be the Venom flight, the F-16s. And this is Snake flight, F-18s. You also notice when we put the cursor over, we can see whether or not it's assigned as a member or a donor. If it's boxed, so if it's unboxed, it's assigned to neither. So first things first, let's go ahead and select one of these donors. And Viper flight, say one, Four. We can see donor four is boxed, indicating it is assigned the donor. I'm going to uncheck that box. So now I've unassigned uh, Viper one four as a donor. And let's reassign that donor to Venom Flight one four. So one four. We hit donor. It's boxed, and now we can see that Venom one four is a donor. And we can do the same thing with members. So let's go ahead and remove. Uh, one four from our member list. So Roman one four. Cursor over it, we can see member is box. I'm going to unbox it to remove it as a member. Now it's just a standard circle. And let's go ahead and assign snake one four as a member. So we put the cursor over it. We see SE one four, so snake. We box member. And now snake one four is a member for us. And also, you know, like we talked about at the beginning, he will contribute target information, air to air, air to ground, uh, much more than a donor can. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on the upcoming changes to the data link of the F-18, and I will see you next time. Thanks.